Do I sue Sir La Table for this part of this spoon? JK, I love you, Sir La Table. Don't sue me back. Hi, I'm Anna Vicino, author of Eat Happy and Eat Happy 2, gluten-free, grain-free, low-carb recipes for a joyful life. And today we are bringing a new recipe to the internet. It's a side dish, but it contains meat. I'm a huge fan of preparing meat with your vegetables because it gets people to eat their vegetables. And when you're going low carb and you're raising your fat and you're cutting out your processed carbohydrates, the people, they tend to complain when they wanna to switch to having green vegetables. And this is a way to get people to be really happy about eating their vegetables. So what we start with today is some uh, chorizo, which I have already pre-browned in the pan. In fact, I'm gonna leave the fat in there and I'm gonna let the chorizo drain. It's about a pound of chorizo. Let the meat drain on a paper towel, which is in the foreground. You might not be able to see it. It'll be a big secret. Big reveal. The big reveal is coming up next. And I'm going to turn the heat back on this puppy because we're going to get to about medium high heat. We're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil added to that chorizo. My Villa Capelli olive oil. Shout out to you guys. And I have a, a, a medium onion chopped here. And we're just gonna get that, woo, smells oniony. And we're gonna get these to start cooking and getting soft in this pan while I prepare le chard. Found it! By the way, I want you guys to know that I am right now wearing slippers as I cook you guys food. And I think that you should wear your slippers when you cook food too. Okay, here's the deal with chard. It is a rough, large, leafy green. I got rainbow chard here, and it's rainbow chard because some of it has purple stems, some of it has white stems, some of it has a more greenish, or some, sometimes it can have a golden stem. And the deal is with chard, I actually usually keep, I cut off the really rough ends, but I actually keep these things for a little crunch, but we're gonna simmer this dish down. I'm gonna cut this in bunches. You can start to hear the onions sizzling. We want them to get soft. This is a very easy side dish to make and we're just gonna loosely chop this. So that's about a pound of chard. You could even do up to two pounds. So now we're gonna take this chard that I cut and start to toss this chard with the onion. So we're folding up this chard. It's already starting to kind of soften, which is great. And we take our spices. For this recipe, we have Redmond the Real Salt, shout out to you guys, cumin, garlic pepper, and pepper. I'm sorry, garlic powder and pepper. And you whisk them together in a bowl. And of course, I'm doing them in a tiny bowl with a baby whisk. And if you don't own a baby whisk, get the a baby whisk. It's one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. See, look, we're just whisking our little spices together. You smell, mm, you smell the earthy cumin. So we're gonna sprinkle our baby whisk spices. Let's check this out. So we got, we got our seasoning in there, mixing that all about. Look how nice that's, it's becoming like a, a deep emerald color. And now we have the super secret ingredient, fire roasted, green chilies or fire roasted hatch chilies. These are in a can, comes four ounces to a can. I don't even, I don't drain them sometimes, some recipes I will. For this, the, the liquid kind of flavors the whole thing, so I dump that whole thing in there. And now we add back in the meats. Our pre-cooked chorizo that we cooked it earlier. I always wanna say chorizo because of the Italian in my heritage. Look at that. This could actually almost be a dish. You could probably top this with like a Monterey Jack cheese and have it be a one pot dish or a casserole. So now I magically, a bowl disappeared in my hand. We don't know where it's from. And we're gonna plate this. Of course, I would serve this as a side dish, but again, this could be a one pot dish situation. You could garnish it with some Monterey Jack cheese if you tolerate dairy. And there we go. Look at that beautiful, Delicious, can you see that? Do we love that? Oh my gosh, 
It smells so fresh and fragrant and vibrant. Let's see. Yeah. Perfection. Mmm. It's earthy. It's a little spice to it from the chorizo. The onion brings out the flavor. The chilies give it the, the heat as well as some acid. This is a perfect side dish slash main dish. Make this chard and chorizo dish for your fam. Get Eat Happy and Eat Happy too. And thank you so much for joining me. Hey guys, if you like this video, please click subscribe so that you're notified every time one of my new videos comes out. Click the bell button, click the thumbs up button, click all the good buttons that makes YouTube go, hey, we like this lady because you like this lady and I like you right back. Thanks guys.